Good morning, gamers. Welcome back. I am the AMDM Lee. This is my cup of coffee, and you're watching the Daily News. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So, as you can see, the bookshelf is no longer there, which means it's back over where it belongs, up against this wall. Which means I finished carving part of that. Ooh, that's a little soft. I might need to put some more stuff behind that. Oh, yes, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's all right, all right, all right. I've got plenty of adhesive left. I can do touch-ups here and there. And it'll be all right. So, <clears throat> okay, like I said, I'm not going to comment on the last critical role I saw because Danny Carr does a wonderful recap on it. And I don't want to fuck that up because she does a good one. But I do want to talk about what happened on the Critical Role YouTube channel. And what I saw. Alright. First off, let's talk about All Work, No Play. I want one of those cabinets. Uh, the main cabinets, I have a small arcade. I have one of the, the arcade one-up one or one-up arcade. Uh, one of the three-quarter cabinets that stands, you know, like really, really short. Uh, it's good to sit in my chair. I can sit in my chair and play it, no problem. But uh, I want a full-size arcade. And I know they're expensive. And I will save up for one for a full-size four-player rollerball arcade cabinet and the first game on there will be gauntlet uh followed probably by golden axe uh i would love to go through and just pick and choose my arcade cabinets what games i wanted on there they went of course you can put 40 some odd thousand games on there i mean jeez there's a lot of games put on there and i would love to do that that would be so much fun so, that being said, let's move on to this other topic, The Chronicles of Exandria, Volume 2, The Legends of Ox Machina. I have the first art book. I love the first art book. The, the fans, critters out there are so freaking talented. Um... The art is absolutely amazing. I love the first book. Uh, shut! My thing. Don't worry about it. So, I love the first book. And I I want to get the second one. It might be a little bit. Uh, but I will end up with it. I will have it. Oh, yes. It will be mine. Ah. Uh, the third thing here, Hambooker Helper, Druid. Marisha Way talks about a quick building of a Druid. Druids are nasty, nasty creatures. They, the, the wild shaping ability, and if they get Circle of the Moon and get all that wild shaping stuff, woo, they are, they can be deadly extremely deadly uh, I'm playing around with some druids in my campaign <laughs> my poor players have no idea what is at stake <laughs> so druids are awesome and they're good pretty much anything and I, I love the quick builds I'm really enjoying the quick builds and the last thing that happened on that that I saw, and I saw it yesterday, which I, I was able to watch it all, the Everything is Content this week was, uh, 
with them playing Soul Calibur, the new Soul Calibur uh, 6. And they spent most of that time. I'm not really one into fighting games. There was a couple I played back in the day that I really enjoyed because my friends were all like practice the, the massive combos. And, you know, the there was one, I think it came out on the N64 called War Gods. And the game was clunky. It was slow. It did not respond well to the button mashing. You know, you had to... You had to go real slow with it. You couldn't just pop your combos in because it wouldn't respond. Well, my friends who've been playing Tekken and Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and there's a, you know, 15 million buttons and just da 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 and they knew all of the combos and would spend hours just playing and pushing the buttons. I didn't spend that much time doing that. I didn't have that much time to spend doing it. But this one, I could pick up a couple of things and still win. So with their speed, I was unbeatable. And I loved it. Now, what I like about the Soul Calibur is I, I, I haven't played any of the Soul Calibur, game, Calibur games, but I think I want to play this one because of the... I could spend hours just building the characters up with uh, the costumes, and I love the paper doll aspects to, to most games now where you can custom build your characters. I love that. I love building up the, the looks of the characters and playing with them. Uh, I spend more time in games like Skyrim building the character than I do actually playing the game. It's a lot of fun. I really, really enjoy doing it. Uh, okay, that, I guess that's all I've got to talk about. I do want to say... Uh, Tomorrow we have the, tomorrow is um, behind the screen. Uh, if you have a question, go ahead and post it to a link to whatever for behind the screen. Also, for you DMs out there, do not forget to check out the DM Legion. A link for that is in the thing. and It's a space where you can talk about your current campaign and get advice, get ideas, and give advice, and give ideas to other DMs out there who are running to places where they're like, I don't know what to do next. My players are going up against this, and I've got this plan. What do I do? How do I tie this to this type of situations? Uh, right now, we can use all the help we can get. I run into things with mine and type them in there and it, it's it's a open forum for dms to communicate with each other give ideas without your players coming inside no players allowed that's all i got for now guys if you like these videos please click on the like button if you think someone else would like them please click on the share button every like is an inspiration every share is an advantage and every subscription is an experience point help me gain 300 experience points so i can get to second level and as always, for every video that you share, the AMDM does hereby authorize you to gain 10 experience points. Just tell your DM the AMDM said so. And I believe that is all I have for now. So, go forth and roll some dice!